Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple quote for reels. All right, and we're going to do that in Canva. So what we're going to do first is open up an Instagram story, story size document. And the way you do that, let's go to home so I can show you how to do that. Just go to create a design. And then here you'll see that as one of the options and click that and there it is. Okay, so we have this open and what we're going to do now is we're going to find a video to put into the background. So I am going to go over here to this bar right here and I need to scroll. Let's see. All right. So I see videos here. I'm going to click on videos and then I just want to find a nice simple background. Um, so what I'm going to put in is um, I'm going to just put in white and see what comes up. Um, so like this is a nice option there. And if you hover over the top, you can kind of see what the video is going to do. So here's another one that's just really simple. We just want a little bit of movement. And so then we're going to export the as a video for reels. Um, but then we want to give people a chance to read our quote that we want um, to put on to Instagram. So there's some nice options here. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to choose it and then I'm going to make it my background. So I'm going to right click and set video as background. So there, um, and if you push play, you'll see kind of what's happening. So this is a little bit um, like too intense for me. So what I want to do is put a nice um, cover over the top of just a, a color over the top. So I'm going to click R on my keyboard and that brings up a rectangle or square. And then I'm just going to make a white um, something to go over the top. And I'm just going to bring it over like this. Um, and, and first of all, I want to remember to lock this background. So I went up to the corner and locked it. That way, this white won't get replaced. Okay, so I put it over the top and now I'm going to change the transparency. So just move it down so you can still see what's going on there. Okay, now I'm going to bring in uh, a quote. So I've already set mine up, but you can go grab this from any kind of Instagram template that you have. Um, I'm gonna come and grab this quote and I'll show you how to set up the rest. So right here, I already have this block created. So I'm gonna copy that um, and bring it up. All right, some of that didn't copy, so I'll go grab the rest. All right, there you go. All right, so I made this a little transparent just so I could kind of see the movement of the video. And now I'm just going to export that. So I wanna make sure that when I download it, I am downloading an MP4 video and I'm on page one, so I'm only gonna download page one. So download that. And just let's give it a second to download. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, I am going to error drop it to myself. All right, I'm gonna right click on that and share, airdrop, and then put it on my phone. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I do it on my phone. Okay, so now that I have it on my phone, I am just gonna test it out here. See, you can see a little movement there. And now I am gonna go open up Instagram and I'm going to click right here, the plus sign, and then I'm going to select real then I'm going to bring in the quote, just like that. And I'm gonna say add. Okay, now I am going to click next and I'm gonna add some music here don't need any camera audio on that. 
in music, I can come search for some music. I just pick something that doesn't have words. And now I can click done. And then you can click next. Um, and then when you edit the cover, you're going to see like, I think this is a great cover because this is going to end up in your um, Instagram feed. And if you look at the profile grid, you can see that it's a nice square image and that's what people are going to see when they come to your feed. Okay. So then you're done there. And then you'll just type in your caption, whatever you want to say about this quote and whatever you need to do next. Um, and then you can just save it as a draft if you're not quite ready or if you want to set it up to do it later. Um, and that's how that is done. All right. Thanks for tuning in and um, get, have fun with those reels and don't worry about being perfect at it. Um, just try it out. It'll be better and easier the more you do it. That's what I'm finding out for myself too. All right. Thanks. Yeah.